As you can see over here, I installed Alpine Linux. Alpine is considered a very minimalist system. And in fact, it's really cool. You can actually boot Alpine with only 64 megabytes of RAM. I'm just gonna show you this for a sec. I'm gonna set the base memory here to 64 megabytes. And if I press start over here, you can see it disabled KASLR. I'm gonna show you in a sec what is KASLR. But other than that, it boots up regularly. Now I'll just go ahead and log in here for a sec. And if I check out with the free command how much memory we have, you can see I'm right here on the limit. You can see I'm, I don't have a lot of free memory available, but you can see that it's basically running just fine. Now I'll go ahead and power this off. Now let's go ahead and decrease the memory a little bit more. I'm gonna go here to settings, system, Let's give it 50 megabytes instead of 64. Now I'll go ahead and boot this again. And as you can see over here, we're getting a kernel panic and it's telling us that the system is deadlocked on memory. So this message comes because the kernel doesn't have any more memory to work with. This is a critical error. And I have here the source code of the kernel right here in this directory, clones. Just gonna go ahead and search this message in the source code. So we had something like, let's see, system is deadlocked. So I'm gonna search system is deadlocked. And as you can see, we have one match over here. This is the panic that causes this message. And this happens inside of the out of memory function. This is in the omkill.c file. And as you can see here in the description, this basically handles situations of out of memory. And they have a choice here by either killing a random task or letting the system crash. Now, the panic that we saw before, right over here, this is reaching this line because we landed on this if condition and it didn't find anything to kill. So it's first of all searching for a process to kill, but if it didn't find any process to kill, we're gonna eventually land on this panic and this is what causes what we see over here. Now, the reason it can't kill anything is because it's not that a process is allocating a lot of memory, it's the system itself, it's the kernel. So there's nothing to do in this case and it has to panic. And you can see this explained over here in the comment. If we got here due to an actual allocation at the system level, we cannot survive this. Now notice that this panic is inside of an if condition over here and it's checking for two things. I'm just gonna mention this check over here and I'm gonna talk a little about what is sys request. This is an interesting subject. By the way, I'll mention that OOM means out of memory and this checks if we reach this flow because of a system request. Now, if you notice on your keyboard, you have this button over here that says print screen and also it says system request. Now, apparently the Linux kernel can work with this button and it's called the Linux magic system request key. This is a magical key combination that you can hit and the kernel will respond to it. This is really cool. So if we look here at this table over here, we have a bunch of commands that we can send to the kernel. And the way you send these commands we have for all kinds of architectures on x86, you have to press this with the alt combination. So you press alt and then system requests, and then you press the command key. So one thing you can do, for example, is reboot the whole system. This is a forced reboot of the entire system. But notice here also that you can trigger the OOM killer, and this will call the out of memory killer to kill a memory hog process, but it won't panic if nothing can be killed. And this is the reason for this condition over here. You don't want it to panic in case there's nothing to kill if it's coming from the system request. Now let's go ahead and just demonstrate these system requests and I'm gonna start with the H key and this will display help. And this is handy because you don't actually have to remember all these keys. If you only remember H, then you can have help and get all the other keys from the help. So now I booted up Alpine again with normal memory and I'm gonna try the first system request. So I'm gonna press on Alt and then system request. I'm gonna press on the sys request key. Enough to only press on the sys request, but keep the Alt pressed. And now I'm going to press on the H key. And as you can see, we're now getting a message from the kernel with help about what I can use. And I'm going to use, for example, the reboot request. That's going to be B. So again, I'm going to press on Alt and I'm going to keep Alt pressed. Then I'm going to press on system request. And now I'm going to press on B. And as you can see, the system is rebooted right after I pressed on B. Just one last bonus thing from the start of the video. Remember that we have the KASLR message when the system booted. This happened because the kernel disabled this feature because I gave the system a very low amount of memory. 
and this causes a randomization of where the kernel code is placed at boot time. So this is basically a security feature that changes where the kernel code is placed in memory each time it boots. Subscribe for more programming videos and thanks for watching.